everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going solo. So, the weather today is awful by the way, and this is why I'm going solo. It all makes sense that you guys wore it. So I'm in the bathroom, as you can probably tell, just because the echo in here is really good and this video is a little bit different, it's going to be me singing. Who would have thought it? Um, so basically, yeah, the weather's not good so we're in the hotel room and I just thought, instead of not giving you guys a video, I'll just sing to you all. Before you hear me sing, I just want to get into why I chose this song and like the reason basically ties in with why I wanted to go travelling. So this song is called Dancing in the Sky. The words are really, really powerful and the meaning to this song is just, it just, every time I listen to it, it just makes me so, so emotional. And it's about loved ones that you've lost, so a lot of people can relate to this. But this song is dedicated to my brother. So about four years, well, it's not about it, it's four years ago. Um, coming up to five actually in February on Valentine's Day, Unfortunately, unfortunately, my brother was in a road accident and lost his life. Some of you will know, some of you won't know. I'm not going to get emotional because I just don't need to. <laughs> but I'm going to just explain to you a little bit about how I felt and how it's made me want to do what I'm doing right now. So, obviously, with any loss in the family, it's hard. And um, when we lost Robbie, who's my brother, it's a different sort of pain, like completely different. And because it was so sudden, you just don't expect that to happen. It hurt a lot, <laughs> obviously. And to go from one day, like chatting to him, to the next, like I'm knowing that I'm not going to see him ever again was super, super hard. And I've never really got, you never get over it. When it's, I feel like when it's like your siblings or your mum or your dad, like you never get over that, that's a big part of your life. So people always say to me, oh, how, how do you feel now? Or how are you coping? And my response to that is, I can't change what happened. So I've learned to live with it, but my heart hurts every single day. Like every single day. And every day I think about him and I think, like, wow, I hope he's proud. And I just think like, I either think about him or something will happen and I think, oh my god, like that reminds me of Robbie or oh my god, that person looks like Robbie. It's, it's just weird. Every single day, me and Jordan talk about him. He was just such a big person and it's a big personality to just lose like that. So it's been a struggle, but I got there with the help of Jordan. <laughs> So that is, that is the reason why I wanted to go travelling. Robbie actually had a child who was four months old when he passed away and his name is Kaiser, my little nephew, I love him so much. So being back at home, having Kaiser was just like a, amazing. I just had a part of Robbie, like part of my heart when, when Robbie died, but a part came with Kaiser because he looks like him, he acts like him. It's just like a mini version of Robbie, basically. It's weird, like the way he is and the way he acts and the way he looks, it's just so, so weird. My brother's not here, but I just feel like you always have to try and look at the positives and we've got Kaiser. So, tying in with all the whole travelling things, this is our actual travel account. That is the reason why I personally wanted to go travelling, just because in fact, that is the reason why I've done everything that I've done since he passed. I don't feel like I cried a lot when it happened. Instead, I've tried to always be positive for the family and also do well in life because life is so short. That is the reason why I'm travelling today. That is the reason, I never thought that I'd be able to leave my family. Like, I love them all so much and obviously I miss them, but I never ever once thought that I would go travelling and leave them behind. <laughs> But they're not behind because I speak to them every day about five times a day, so I've not left any of them behind. But that is the whole reason why I've done it. I've uh, done what I wanted to do. Life is so short and you just never know what's going to happen like in an hour, in two hours, tomorrow, the next day. So if there's something that you really want or something that you really want to achieve or really want to do, then just go for it. And that's exactly what I've done. You know, 
it's life and things happen and there's people out there that have gone through a lot more than me so i'm not this is no like sob story i don't want any sympathy i'm just saying this is the reason why i am traveling today and also so when kaiser grows up i can say to him that happened and it was a terrible thing and you know our hearts were broke and they never ever will be fixed but you can still make the most out of life you don't have to be sad all the time and you can still live your life if you want to you just need to make it happen and you know here i am in the back room about to sing a song about my brother and this video is dedicated to him and i miss him so so much and I know he'll be looking down on me, so this is for you, bro. You'll be laughing, he was such a bubbly character and he won't want me to be sad. And I'm not going to cry to you guys because we just don't need that. But let's get into the singing and let me know in the comments what you think. And if you lost somebody, then I hope you can relate to this video and just make them proud. Live every day for you and for them. Tell me why. Does it look like in heaven? Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your fears and your pain gone away? Cause he I'm 